what's up my people bless up on yourself welcome back to the channel leave a like and also subscribe to the channel click the top bell icon after you subscribe so you can get notification whenever there's anything new on the channel so as usual my people you know me have some things i'm gonna share with you guys so the first thing i'm gonna get in a is a truck driver will get stabbed up by a wholesale worker over bad driving See? Prosecutors are expected to make an assessment of the charges against a wholesale worker who stabbed a truck driver in a case of road rage. Allegations shared in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Tuesday are that the accused Daniel was involved in an altercation with the complainant, a truck driver, casting blame about who bad drive the other. Daniel, the court heard, allegedly pulled a knife and stabbed the complainant all over his body. A tussle ensued between the men and they fell to the ground where Ma Daniel sorry, allegedly stabbed the complainant in his leg. The complainant indicated to the parish judge Carla Mason through prosecutors that while he is minded to attend mediation, he is seeking to be compensated in the sum of $500,000 due to the extent of his injuries. He will require therapy from the incident. He will have to change jobs as he was stabbed two inches away from his heart and he was admitted to hospital, the prosecutor shared. It was then a startled Mason recommended that the investigator be subpoenaed to attend court as well as the file be assessed as the charges may have to be increased to wounding with intent based on the complainant's utterances. So you see my people is a wholesale this youth you are working on. How am I going to find that the money there? Forget that man there you know. And that's why you have to think before you act on you know, my people. You can't just act in a rage so. You see me I say? You think before you act and try walk away from an argument if you can. You see me I say? And sometimes when you know, you know what I mean, them type of situation here, yeah, it best only make somebody come mediate like a police officer. You see me I say? Once you're in an accident, there the police them have to get involved. You see me I say? Because you can't just say, all right, you wrong, fix my car. And a man say, yes, he might go fix your car. And you take your number, him take for your number. And you just take away yourself and drive gone. And him drive gone. A man, we just give you that and a business boy again. But once the police them involve and them take both of you information. And them assess Wagwan. And based on the rules of the road, they might go tell who wrong from who right. You see me I say? So, you know what I mean? Just leave your comments in the comment section. And we are going to move over to Clarendon where a security guard get charged for murder. You see me? So, them say a security guard from Clarendon has been arrested and charged with murder of another man. The Maypen Criminal Investigation Branch is reporting. Charge is Syrian Walford, otherwise called Mackay, of Juno Crescent, Maypen, he is charged with the murder of 31-year-old Joseph McLean. Walford has also been charged with unauthorized possession of a prohibited weapon, unauthorized possession of ammunition, and using a prohibited weapon to commit a felony. These charges stem from an incident in Juno Crescent in the parish on Thursday, December 7. According to the police, about 11.45 a.m., McLean was at a bar in the community when he was pounced upon by three men who opened gunfire at him. The men escaped in a motor vehicle. McLean was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. A day after the murder of McLean, detectives gathered and verified evidence through interviews. They then apprehended Walford on Friday, December 8th. On Tuesday, Walford was charged after a question and answer session 
A statement from the Police Corporate Communication Unit said on Wednesday, his court date is being finalized. So, people, them youth you nowadays, know them they resolve nothing by talking over. The least look thing, a man want to kill you. You see me, I say, them go tell them friend what go on and them and them friend. You see me, I say, come execute whatever mission. First time, a man in a vibes with the next man, two big stone fling, two thumb chow. You know what I mean? A man maybe use a one tick and lick up a man. You know what I mean? Some of the time, a knife or a cutlass will come into play. You see me? There wasn't no a gun play. You see me? But now, Gun they all over the place, the least set a man have a gun. You see me I say, so a man want to use it. So the least little thing, a man get a reason for use a machine. You understand me I say? So, people want to talk over things if you can talk over things, Bridging. I just avoid a man. You know what I mean? Just like that. So, we are going to move over. To in a Saint Anne, you know, my people, man gone down in broad daylight in Saint Anne. A man was shot dead in Content Gardens, Ochiria Saint Anne, and Wednesday morning he has been identified as Benjamin Graham, otherwise called Pepe, of the area. Reports are that at about 10 10 a.m., residents heard gunshots. And some on the police upon the arrival of the lawman, Graham was seen lying on the floor of a one bedroom dwelling suffering from gunshot wounds. He was taken to hospital where he was pronounced dead. Residents of Content Gardens have expressed concern following his death. Right now, the whole community is tense. The killing is getting too bad in St. Anne. Matter of fact, the whole of Jamaica, look how many parishes have SOE and the killers are still on a spree. This doesn't look good. This looks like a bloody Xmas, a resident said. Another resident said she heard the gunshots while doing chores. I was washing some plates. I heard the shots and wondered if it was clappers because at Xmas time I come around about an hour later somebody called me and said if me hear about the shooting broad daylight me couldn't believe she said according to the constabulary as at December 2nd St. Anne has recorded 75 murders 12 more than the corresponding period last year Jaja Boy, Saint Anne people, Saint Anna get bad. You know what I mean? So, guys, leave a like, subscribe, and let me know what you think in the comment section.